Oh yeah. Okay. So it looks like the new, what is it, Sequoia TRD. Uh, this car is Gangsta F AF. If you want to drive a tank in LA, <laughs> get the Sequoia. Perfect proportions. I force max. Which means uh, you could destroy any loser Range Rover in the streets. And you beat them with superior MPGs. The, I think the MPGs on this is, uh, what, 21 MPGs? 25? I'm like, that's pretty good. Okay. So, uh, some thoughts, some thoughts. Oh, and also, GR Corolla in white, available at Culver City. Seneca loves it. All right, so, uh, some thoughts, some thoughts. Uh, Archimedes' principle to life. So, the general idea I have is uh, if we're thinking about uh, stuff, right? Um, you know, the, the Archimedes quote. Give me a lever and I shall uh, move the world or give me a place to stand I could move the planet. Or my, my interpretation is once you know where your fulcrum is, right? Then you could, uh, then you could move the, the world, move the planet, right? And so the, the, the simple way to think about this is think about the one thing that you are a thousand X times better than anybody else on the planet and exploit that to the max rather than trying to become quote quote well-rounded. So, you know, it's better to have an Einstein or a Feynman or, you know, an Oppenheimer physicist, right? To spend a thousand percent of their energies, you know, focusing on the one thing that they're so super, super insanely good at rather than having them be quote quote well-rounded, get them into soccer lessons, whatever, right? And so, you know, my thought is, the only reason why maybe historically we have told kids to become well-rounded is because like it's, it's kind of like hedging right it's like kind of like a risk diversification right it's like i don't know if the kids are gonna be good at this or that and you try them have a have them try all the things and figure out what they're good at right it's just kind of like let's throw a bunch of stuff to the wall and see what sticks now certainly exposure is good right uh, having a kid now, uh, Seneca's about three and a half, right? Um, the funny thing is, whatever a kid is interested in is typically kind of what the parents, uh, father, mothers are into. So Seneca, really into cars, Waymo's, just like uh, just like me, photography, video, Bitcoin, and stuff like that. He loves Teslas. I showed him the the Robo Taxi, we robot thing from uh, Elon. He loves it. I love it too. Uh, Elon, Elon, right? And also Seneca loves Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, so if a, three, if a three and a half year old kid knows what Bitcoin is, and he knows what a cyber truck is, and he also knows what Matt Black is, uh, yeah, good idea. I call it the, the Seneca investing strategy, or the kid investing strategy. If you got a three and a half year old kid, a four year old kid, invest in what they like because, uh, that's gonna be the future, right? Uh, kids have more wisdom than uh, adults. Adults are boring. So yeah, I think, uh, you know, for myself, for examples, right? I'm like super passionate about photography, obviously, right? And man, I'm like, man, I'm a like triple OG status now. I started in what? My YouTubes in 2009, 2010. And the OG, OG GoPros with no screen or whatevs, right? What did it shoot like? 720p? 540p, I don't even know, 480p. And the only reason I used it was it was the only thing available at the times, right? Uh, I'm always telling people about, I was on YouTube before ads, what? what? Um, but anyways, so the reason why I think all this is so critical is because, uh, you know, I think about the futures and stuff like that, right? I don't know, at this point when I'm already super duper success, you know, honestly, at this point, like maybe my impetus, I just want to kind of give back. You know, I want to, I want to share all the knowledges that I got right now and share the ideas, tips, and blah blahs that could hopefully help other people, uh, as it's helped me to give back. Uh, yeah. 
oh, I was randomly thinking, I'm like, you know, Vision AI, AI company, right? Is... I mean, ultimately, uh, yeah, vision, vision AI is the future, right? So Tesla self-driving did it, right? So if you read the Walter Isaacson, Elon Musk biography, Elon hates sonar, lidar, what is, right? And then he's like, come on, like human, human eyes. We can just see everything with our eyeballs and we can know whether cars are coming or not. Uh, personally, I also like to use my ears. So whenever I'm doing a dangerous turn, I always like to roll down the windows to make sure that I'm not going to get hit by oncoming traffics. And also the good thing with being a human being, I guess over in AI is you can kind of discriminate people a little bit better, right? So like if you see a junky ass car, no license plate, probably somebody from the hood, which means they might do something more aggressive on the, the roads. Um, <laughs> another pro tip, you're going to cut off a car in traffic, uh, cut off a Tesla because it's going to automatically break in order to avoid hitting you. So I feel safer around Tesla. I mean, like, honestly, people hate on Elon and Tesla. I'm like, come on. It's like the safest car on the road. It's probably like things that are impossible to, to note. It's probably prevented hundreds, if not thousands of people from dying because, you know, it's it. like even if you was a distracted millennial texting while driving a Tesla, you're probably a trillion times safer than you know anybody else um but anyways so yeah the the vision ai nvidia is the futures um yeah thinking about the futures yeah think vision vision ai obviously bitcoin microstrategy mstr michael.com easy 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 this is going to be the archimedes of the future